from Deep Space Sparkle, and I am so excited to be here with you guys today. So as you're joining me, we're gonna be doing a paint along today. We're gonna to be drawing a turtle and painting a turtle and then adding a little something special at the end. So as you're joining me, I'd love to know um, if maybe your mom or dad is there and they can help you type this in. What's your name and where are you listening in from? So go ahead and just say where you are uh, listening in from, where you're tuning in from. Maybe you're at home. I assume you're at home because I know that a lot of you aren't in school. So that's why I'm here because I know that when I um, get a little busy, I love to do art and I'm hoping that maybe that's something that you would like to do too. So do you want me to show you what we're going to be doing today? Okay. We're going to be drawing and painting this sea turtle. Now take a look. I have a really big piece of paper. I mean, it's huge. <laughs> so, and if you don't have this size of paper, that's okay too. Now this, look how big this is. It's almost as big as my head. It's bigger than my head. So we're going to be drawing this sea turtle. Isn't he happy? And we're going to be painting with a certain type of paint and I'll show you what kind of paint that is. And then at the end, if you have some glitter, we're going to add some. Now you don't have to add the glitter. It's up to your parents, but that's an option for you. So I see everyone tuning in. Logan from San Diego and Margaret, Colorado and Jesse, Hannah and, and Raleigh, the Brown family. Hello, Noah and Molly and Maggie and Isaac. That's a lot of Brown family. Are you guys having fun up there? <laughs> Callie? No, it's Katie in Tampa. Hi guys. And Mason. Hi Mason. You're six years old. You're perfect for this project. That's a perfect age. I'm wondering if my niece Tori is tuning in from uh, Vancouver. She's uh, visiting Vancouver. So hi Tori. I'm so excited to draw with you. Okay kids. Now here are the supplies you're going to need because we're going to be making this sea turtle. See how big he is? But if you have a small piece of paper, see how much smaller this is? That's fine too. You're going to be able to use whatever size paper. Look at that. Look at the difference. You can still make a, a turtle no matter what kind of paper you have and what size of paper you have. So I'm using a pretty big piece, but you might have a smaller piece and that's good. You might have a middle sized piece, kind of like a piece of paper that's somewhere in the middle. That's, that's good too. Now, here is the paint that I'm using. I'm using this paint. Isn't it pretty? It's from Faber-Castell and it has all sorts of different colors. Now your paint might look like this. Let me see. If your paint looks like this, that's good too. These are watercolor paints and watercolor paints are going to work perfectly with this lesson. Maybe you have some crayons and you don't have paints at all. Maybe you have some crayons like this or maybe you just have a few in a little tub. That's going to work too. You don't have to paint. I'm going to show you how to paint the turtle, but you, don't, you can color if you want to. Some of you might be in a situation where you don't have your art supplies and maybe you have a piece of paper like this and maybe you have a pencil or even a marker, you can draw along because we're going to be drawing and painting. And at the very end, we're going to add a little bit of glitter. So if you want to add the glitter, this is what I'm using. It's so pretty. This is like a, it's like a Kelly green. It's really pretty. And then I also have like a shimmery gold. So I'm excited to put this on my sea turtle. And in order to do that, I'm going to need some glue. So I have a glue. Now, if you're painting along with me, you might have a bunch of different brushes at home. So you pick the one that you have. Look at all my brushes. There's so many different sizes. I have a big fat brush. I'm going to be using this one. You know why? Because it gets the paint on the paper a lot faster. And here's a medium sized one. And then you might have one that looks like this. That's good too. You might have one that looks like this. It's all good. Whatever you have is good for me. And then you want to just have some water close by. Okay. Now we're going to draw. We're going to practice a drawing first and then we're going to do a drawing on our big or our good piece of paper and then we're going to start painting but i have a book that i'm going to read you so that when we're waiting for the painting to dry so we can add the glitter i'm going to read this beautiful book to you and it's called life 
by Cynthia Ryland. And I love this book and I can't wait for you to see it because it has the most pretty pictures. And there's even a spot where they talk about a turtle. And I'm gonna see if you guys notice the spot where they talk about the turtle. So you let me know if you see it. So that comes a little bit later. And then the very final flourish, we're gonna add the glitter. Okay, so now kids, are you guys ready? You all set? Let me see. Oh gosh, you're all here. This is so good. You guys are all ready to draw along. Well, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do, if you have a piece of scrap paper, even like a paper placemat, a newspaper, anything at all, anything that you just might, don't mind practicing on, we're gonna practice drawing a sea turtle. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch over my camera. So here's my sea turtle. And I have a bunch of different sea turtles. I have one on a medium sized paper, one on a small piece of paper, and one on a big piece of paper. But the very first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna learn how to draw a turtle. Now this is just one way to draw a turtle. There are so many different ways to draw a turtle. So I want you to get out a, an oil pastel. This is an oil pastel. And this is a crayon. And look, I have so many colors here. And you might have so many colors too. I want you to pick your favorite color for now. And we're gonna start on a scrap piece of paper. So a piece of paper that you do not mind um, making lots of mistakes on. We wanna make lots of mistakes. We wanna um, make a turtle that you really like. And I'm gonna walk, um, walk you through just a basic drawing. And then remember, you can make this turtle exactly the way you want it. Okay, so here's the top of the paper. Here's the bottom. Here's the left side. Here's the right side. I want you to make a little dot where you think the middle of the paper is. Maybe it's about here. So that's an important dot for me. I'm gonna use an oil pastel because it's nice and dark and I love dark lines. So I wanna make a head that kind of, it looks like a sideways letter U. Look at that, that's the head. So you can follow along with me. Are you all, do you have your a crayon or your oil pastel or a pencil? Go ahead and draw. Kind of look, looks like a letter C, doesn't it? Now we're gonna draw a neck. So we wanna draw a little ring around that neck and double that line up. So here's the little neck. It looks like he's wearing a collar, like a turtleneck. Do you see what I did? So here's that letter C, and then we're gonna make a, a line that goes around here and then inside. And if you make a mistake, you can just cross out whatever line you don't like. This is just a practice. Now, I want you to take your oil pastel and I want you to put it on this part of the drawing, this ring or the collar. And I want you to go up, 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 almost to the edge of the paper, and then I want you to stop. Then come back to the turtle. See how that line is kind of like a rainbow. It's nice and arched. It goes almost to the top of the paper, but not quite. And then I want you to put your oil pastel or your crayon or your pen or your marker. And I want you to draw another line. And this time it's not as curved and it goes to the end. So you just made the bottom of the sea turtle. And I'm just gonna double that line up. So how are you doing? Did you guys do that? So here's the head kind of a funny looking head. Maybe I'll make, change the shape. Maybe I'll make the top part a little bit bigger. Then I made this line here, and then the big turtle shell, and then the bottom. So now I wanna make the leg. So I'm taking my pastel, and I'm making a curve line that goes almost to the bottom of the paper. Then I'm gonna come back here, and I have to decide how big do I want my big um, front flippers. They probably have a different name and I wanna draw a curved line, and it almost looks like a sock. Look at that big leg. Now let's do this one back here. Then the back of the leg is way at the other end of the sea turtle, and I wanna start here with a curved line. So it starts at the bottom of the shell, and it looks almost like a boomerang. And then I wanna make another short line, and it goes out and around. See, that definitely looks like a sock. Looks like something you would hang from your Christmas mantle. Okay, now let's go back up here. We're gonna see just a little bit of the flipper, the front flipper. So start at the top of the, kind of that rainbow line and draw that flipper. Then let's do another one for the back flipper. It's a little bit smaller. See how these are bigger? That's because they are closer to you and these are farther away. So we only see a little bit of these because the shell is hiding them. So guess what? If you add an eye and a smile and a couple of patterns, 
you just made a turtle. Oops, my oil pastel broke. Breaks all the time. So if yours breaks, you're in good company. They're meant to break. Look at that. And I can even make another pattern. So I just made my, my rough or my practice sheet of my turtle. So kids, I'm wondering, do you guys make a practice sheet? How does it look? Your practice drawing? Now we can do another one too. Do you wanna do another one? If you wanna do another one, I'll show you a different way. This time we can draw the turtle from above. So it looks like this. Do you guys wanna do that? Okay. If you want to do it, go ahead and say yes, or give me a little heart. Let me see if I can see. So many kids are here. Okay, let's do one really quickly. I have another sheet. Oops, I'm sorry about that. Let me see how I can get that. Hello, Deborah. I don't mean to like make you, your name pop out, and I have to find that because I accidentally touched your comment. And there's so many, now I have to find it. How do I just tap that? There we go. Oops, sorry, Kelly. There we go, <laughs> back in action. Okay, kids, I'm gonna turn it over to my scrap paper. Let's do another one really quickly. I'm gonna move a little faster through this one. Okay, this is drawing a sea turtle from above. And I wanna draw a line, not at the very top of my paper, but towards just maybe a couple of fingers down from the top and I want to draw a line, but I want to curve that around and make a, a long letter U. Look at that. This is the head. It's kind of in the middle. And then this is, oops, I kind of ran out of room. Maybe I'll make this a little smaller. There we go. So that's the front flipper. This paper is a little bit small. And then here are the back flippers. And so I have a turtle. He looks pretty good, a little strange. Then you can make some patterns. This is only my practice, so I'm already learning. I'm learning that if I want to do this again, I may not make that shell too big at the top, so I have more room for the legs. But now look at this. I want you to make a line. Go one, two, three. And then I want you to go make a greater than sign and a less than sign. Look at these little arrows. That's kind of adding a pattern to your sea turtle. Okay, how does that look? So I wonder which one do you like better? Because you get to choose. You get to choose whatever uh, type of turtle you want. Okay, kids, I want you to put these uh, scrap papers aside. Maybe you've already done one. You can continue to make more. You can make as many as you want. And, but we're going to move to our big piece of paper, our good piece of paper, and we're going to start making our turtle. Okay, so I am going to use this one. I really like the look of this turtle, like he's swimming in the ocean. And um, it kind of reminds me of when I went to Hawaii and I was swimming in the water, just swimming along, minding my own business. And then I dipped my head underneath the water. Guess what I saw? Just guess. Yeah a sea turtle, a big green sea turtle. And it really scared me. I kind of jumped, I was swimming with my husband, Neil, and I jumped on his back because I was so scared because it was a huge, it was like as big as my body. But then I realized that it was so gentle. It was so calm and it, it looked like it, it was smiling. I said, oh, that's the most beautiful thing I ever saw. So once I kind of relaxed, I realized, oh, they're so big. It can look scary, but I was literally looking down on him. It was the most beautiful thing I ever saw. That's why I love drawing the sea turtles. And that's why I wanna draw this one because it reminds me of the time that I saw him swimming. And I'm wondering if you ever saw a sea turtle like in the ocean. Yeah, okay, so let's go drawing. Oops, okay. So now what I want you to do, I'm gonna leave this here. I'm using a really big piece of paper, kiddos. And that's because I'm going to need this big piece of paper because I'm going to make a sea turtle. And the sea turtle is going to cover most of my paper. I'm going to draw the head and I'm going to simplify the head. I'm going to make a little upside down U. I'm going to make a smile line and then I'm going to make the body. And then I'm going to make the fins and then we can make some seaweed. Okay, you guys ready to, to join with me? 
So get your good piece of paper, hold up your oil pastel, let me see if you guys are all ready to start drawing. And if you are ready to start drawing, then I am too. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna draw is my head. And I wanna make sure that it's just an, enough away from the edge of my paper. So I'm gonna put my hand here and I wanna make a little tiny dot. Then I wanna make a smile, just like that. See, that's the bottom of my turtle's head. Then I wanna make the top of my turtle's head. Isn't he cute? If you had a fist, it could almost fit inside the head. Okay, now I'm gonna draw the body. And I'm gonna start at the top of the head and I'm gonna draw a body that has a big rainbow line. And it can go um, not quite over to the edge of the paper because I wanna add some seaweed or some kelp or some beautiful under the ocean uh, greenery. So I'm gonna leave that there. Now I'm gonna put my oil pastel or my crayon or my marker, the bottom of the head, and I'm gonna come up to meet this point, to meet the end of the turtle's shell. Okay, now I have to double this up. I wanna make a line around the turtle's head and I wanna make a line on the turtle's the bottom of the shell. How are you guys doing? Is this fun? Is anyone frustrated that maybe you drew a line and it just doesn't look like mine? If that's the case, kids, you just keep going. It's okay, you wanna make it as your own. It does not have to look like mine. In fact, it's so much better if it doesn't look like mine. And if you're worried that you um, are not working as fast or you want more time, guess what? You can watch this video a little bit later and you can catch up and do it again and again. And you can practice turtles all day long. Okay, kiddos, guess what's coming next? We're gonna make the big turtle fins. Can someone please tell me what these are called? Does anyone know? Maybe Abby knows, or maybe Ruthie knows, or Elias. What are these called on the sea turtle? Are they the front legs? Are they swimmers? Are they flippers? What are they? You have to help me out. Whatever they are, I'm gonna draw one right here, and I'm gonna make a curved line that, look how much it, it almost touches the bottom of my paper, because I want it to be really big, because I know when I saw that big green um, sea turtle in Hawaii, it had the biggest, fins I've ever seen. Look how big that is. Then I want to do a back one. I'm going to re go towards the back of my turtle shell and I'm going to make a curved line. And then I just want to make some wobbly lines that look like that. And you can make a different line. You can make it look like a sock. Now I want to make the, sh the lines up here or the fins up here. And they look a little different, don't they? Because they're not as big. That's because the turtle shell is hiding so much of it. Okay, now it's the fun part. We get to decorate. So I'm gonna let you catch up. I'm gonna make sure that everyone has their turtle. Oh my goodness, I just saw that. Mari's here from New York. Mari, I'm so happy that you're here. Hi, Marissa. <laughs> okay, you guys are all doing great. Okay. Now, guys, I just want to point a few things out. This to me is the fun part. You get to decorate your shell however you want. You can make a big circle in the middle and make it look like a flower. You can make, you know, more angular lines. So you can do whatever you want. And you know, just because I want to show you, you can do whatever you want. I think I'm going to make mine a polka dot turtle. I really like polka dots. I like polka dots and I like stripes a lot. What do you guys like? Maybe you have a turtle shell that looks like this. Maybe it looks like scales that you're drawing little, little bumps. Go ahead and draw the inside of your turtle shell. And then I'm gonna make a big circle for the eye and a dot in the middle. And then a tiny little mouth and a nostril. And that's pretty much it for my turtle. And I'm super happy that he's looking the way he's looking. He's looking very da dapper, I think. Okay, how are you guys doing? Are you ready to move on? If you are ready to move on, give me a little heart, or perhaps you can say, yes, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, it looks like Tara's ready to move on. Okay, guys. Guess what? 
we're going to draw some uh, undersea kelp or some coral or, or rocks, whatever you think you might want in your picture. So here's a fun way to draw a rock. Take your oil pastel and put it on the edge of your paper and I want you to draw a line. And if you happen to run into your turtle, guess what you're going to do? You're going to hop over the turtle and then continue on and you just made a rock and it looks like the uh, turtle is swimming like around the rock. Let's do another one on this side. Let's start at the bottom, towards the bottom at the edge, at the very edge of the paper and make a bumpy line. Now don't go through the, the legs. You want to hop over and draw another line. Now you have your rocks on both sides. Now I'm going to make a long piece of seaweed. See that curvy line? Then I want to take my oil pastel and gradually come up to that line and make a point. That's kind of tricky. You might want to make a line that is a little bit more round. Whatever you want, you can make because there's all sorts of different plants in the ocean. Maybe I'll make one over here that's bumpy. I'm going to go behind my turtle's legs. I'm going to jump over. I'm going to jump over that leg and I'm going to come down and up and down and up and down. Now, I have a question for you. What else would you like to put underneath your ocean with your sea turtle? Maybe you can draw a sea star or maybe there's another rock. But whatever it is, I'm ready. So kids, I made my drawing and here's my drawing and he's all ready to paint. So go ahead and finish up your drawing and I'll talk about the paints. I'm gonna use paints like this, but if you have paints that look like this, maybe they're in a tub, you can use whatever paints you want. You just wanna make sure that um, we're gonna clean our brushes after we add each color. And at the end, we're gonna have, you can use whatever color you want. If you want a pink turtle, you can color that turtle pink. If you want a navy blue turtle, you can color the turtle navy blue. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm ready to, I love the painting part. And like I mentioned, I'm using a big fat brush. I'm using a brush that looks like this. And I'm going to paint my turtle first because I always get excited. I'm going to paint my turtle, um, I think, let's see, maybe some orange. Now when I Put my, I'm going to dip my paintbrush in the water and I'm going to take that water, put it on my brush and then swirl around my dry cake. Now if you don't have dry cakes, these are dry, see? If you are just dipping your paintbrush into a liquid paint, you don't have to do this. You just have to dip. But I want to be able to see all the color on my brush. And then I'm going to paint whatever I want on my turtle that color. So I think I'll do this shell here. That's pretty good. Now I want to have a darker color for the rest of the shell. Right here. And do you notice how I'm painting over my oil pastel lines? Well, if you're doing that, that's totally fine. Okay, I like this orange so much, I'm gonna make his legs orange. You do not have to paint your turtle orange like me. You might paint it green, blue, black, whatever color you want. I like going around the outside first, a little bit slower, slower, and then I can go fast on the inside. Okay, I'm gonna clean my brush. And the way I clean my brush is I just dab it in the bottom of the container and then just drag the bristles across the rim. Okay, I think I'm gonna stick with these warm colors. These are warm colors, almost they look like the sun. And I'm gonna paint some pink and some purple. And you can even mix your colors. If I mix pink with some orange, I'm gonna get more of a red. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, 
Now I have to decide what color I'll put inside this little shell. I think I'm gonna go for yellow. I'm gonna get a lot of yellow on my brush. Because I have a big brush, that means I can paint fast. If I have a smaller brush, it's gonna take me a little bit longer to paint. So here's a smaller brush and I'll show you the difference. Look at the difference between those two brushes. Can you see that? So now I'm gonna use the smaller brush. And go around and around until I get lots of paint on my brush. The more paint or the more times you go around those palettes, the more color you're going to get on your brush and that means it's going to be darker. The more water you add, the lighter the color. When I paint, I'm, I always pick up a little bit of the colors beside it and that's okay too. That makes it kind of fun and interesting because then you don't really know what um, what's going to happen. It's like a surprise, a surprise color mixing. Okay guys, I am finished of my turtle. Now if you're still painting your turtle, that's good. I might add a few little, um, little patterns with some pink over my turtle legs. I'll wait until you catch up and then when you're ready to uh, continue on with the background, you can let me know. Say, I'm ready. Okay. Omar is here from Saudi Arabia. Omar, welcome. That's exciting. Amelia's here from uh, uh, Orcutt. Oh, that's close. Okay, guys, I'm ready to paint my background. So you know what I'm gonna paint first, guys? I am gonna paint my ocean, and I'm gonna choose this beautiful, actually, I'm gonna choose green. Why not? Because when I was in Hawaii, the ocean seemed to be really green. Now, I want to go really slowly around the areas where my, my drawing lines are. And so I don't mix the two colors together. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you can go a little bit faster on the inside. So what I want you to do is pick a color for your ocean. You can pick one color. You can pick two colors and I want you to go all the way around your drawing. If you need more water on your brush, just dip your brush in some water and then it becomes a little more liquidy and it gets lighter. See how it gets a little bit lighter? Well, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling very calm. I love mixing colors with my paintbrush, and I feel like I could do this all day long. I might even try to do another one with a different um, angle or maybe a friend for this sea turtle. When we're done, and maybe you can do the same. Maybe you can do another sea turtle. I'm going to go a little faster because here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish painting my turtle and the background and then I'm going to pull out my book and I'm going to read the book to you. Remember, if you just joined me a little bit later, you might not have seen that I'm going to read a book and it's one of my favorite books. It's called Life by Cynthia Ryland. And while you're finishing your painting, you can either um, paint while I read or you can stop and look at the pictures. See how I'm mixing yellow and green here, and I'm getting this really cool, kind of like a lime color. I really like that. Now, I'm not fond of black, so I think I'm gonna paint my rocks purple. <laughs> you don't have to paint your rocks purple, but I, you know, I like pretty colors. Black is a nice color too, and you can paint your color or your rocks black but I think purple is kind of a fun color to paint my rocks. I'm wondering what color you're gonna paint your rocks. I'm really interested. Here's some blue and purple, I'm gonna mix those colors. Do you like mixing colors? I know I do. I'm 
I'm using my big brush and I can really get that paint everywhere. I'm kind of just scribbling with my paintbrush, but I think it's pretty. Okay, guys. So I finished my sea turtle. I'm really happy with it. Yours might look a little bit different and that's good. I can't wait to see all the pictures afterwards. Now I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna read you a book. And when this is dry, we can add the glitter and I'll show you a special way to add glitter so it doesn't go all over your kitchen table, make your mom mad. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna put that away to dry and I have this book that I'm gonna to read to you. It's called Life by Cynthia Ryland and it's illustrated by Brendan Wenzel. Look at that little animal. I don't know what it is. Can you, can you tell what it is? I have no idea. It looks like an alligator. Life begins small. See, look how tiny that little cactus is. Let me see if I can just enlarge this just a bit. There we go. Even for elephants, then it grows beneath the sun and the moon. Look at all the blues, kids. The light blues and the green blues. So pretty. Life grows. Look at all the different animals. Which one's your favorite? Ask any animal on earth, what do you love about life? The hawk will say sky. The camel will say sand. The snake will say grass. Hey, you see the turtle? The turtle may remain quiet. It has seen much in its hundred years, but the turtle loves life. How could it not? with so much rain on its back. Life is not always easy. There will probably be a stretch of wilderness now and then, but wilderness eventually ends. And there is always a new road to take. Remember this, in every corner of the world, there is something to love and something to protect. And if one day, if something, if it seems nothing beautiful will ever come your way again, trust the rabbit in the field and the deer who crosses your path. Trust the wolf and the wild geese who find their way back home. All these know something about life, that everything is changing and it's worth it. It's worth waking up in the morning to see what might happen because life begins small and grows. The end. Isn't that a beautiful book? Yeah, I like that. Okay, I hope you like that book. It, this is what it looks like the cover. I think it's such a pretty book. And I like to do a lot of art lessons based on this book. And I thought it was so fun just to think about, you know, how um, today is a little bit different than it was, you know, a month ago. And you're going to be at home with your parents for a while. And I thought it'd be fun if we could continue to do art. Now, how are you guys doing with that sea turtle? Are you guys ready to add the glitter? <laughs> so Chantel says, yes, a bit s slower, please. You guys keep on going. Oh, Jennifer does say, if it goes too fast, this will be, there will be a replay. You can watch this and go over it and over it again. Juliet says you're going too fast. <laughs> I'll go a little bit slower. Okay, guys, I'm ready for the next part. So if you finished your painting, it might look something like this. You might even have a couple of places where it dripped. 
I always um, drip on my painting. Now I'm gonna wrap up this lesson and remember you can come back to this video with your mom and dad and you can play it over again and she can even fast forward to the part where you might wanna catch up. So that's totally fine. If you're not finished, that's okay. You can keep watching. Now, look at this. Do you guys have a glue stick at home? It looks like this. I'm gonna wind it up and I'm gonna look at my artwork and I'm gonna decide where on my artwork I would like to add a little bit of glitter. And I think I'm gonna use this green glitter right here. Now, wherever you want the glitter, you have to make sure that your paint is dry because if you're using a paint that's really goopy and maybe it takes longer to dry, you wanna make sure it's completely dry. So this might be a step that you do a little bit later on with your mom and dad, but wherever you want the glitter, I want you to draw with your, with your glue. And I put, want a little bit of glitter there, and I want a little bit of glitter here, just like that. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I'm gonna take my green, and I'm gonna shake, 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 shake. You might need a little help from your mom and dad, or an adult who's with you. And I want you to just kind of shake it back and forth, and then I want you to tap it, on your table. Not very much falls off because it sticks to the glue. I'm going to do the same over here. I want to make a little bit of glitter on my rock. Now you might want your glitter to be on your turtle. You can decide. I think on my rock is just fine. And maybe I'll put a little bit over here. When I shake, 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 and tap, 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 all of the extra glitter is gonna land on that uh, paper. But look at that. Can you see? Okay, guys. Can you see all the glitter? I put my glitter on my kelp, the seaweed, and also on my rock. But you might want your glitter on your turtle. Here, I'll show you this one. See? Okay guys, we've come to the end of our paint along. Now, I might have gone a little too fast for some of you, but that's okay, because guess what? You can watch this video again, and you can keep on making your turtle, and you can keep on finishing your turtle, keep painting it until it's the way that you love it. So, I want you to join me again. I'm gonna be here tomorrow at 3.30. That's gonna be, it might be in the evening for some of you, but it might be in the late afternoon. So I'll put a notice on this Facebook page and we're gonna do a lesson for some older kids, okay? So I'm so happy that you got to paint with me and draw with me. I can't wait to see your sea turtles. So uh, your mom or your dad or your aunt or your uncle or anyone that you're with, maybe they can take a picture of your finished sea turtle and actually put it in the comment section of this post. That would be really fun to see what everyone does. And then if you do, you can add your name and how old you are and everyone can see what you're doing. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you the next time, okay? You guys take care. You guys have a happy, creative day and keep painting. Bye-bye.